Right, what's going on YouTube? It's Jamel again with uh, Focused Hands and today we're going to be looking at changing out the uh, gauge cluster here, the, the interior lights uh, as well as the gauge face. Uh, here you're seeing a finished product or a subset of a finished product because the new gauge cluster that I had had 30,000 extra miles on it. So I'm going to go back and use my old gauge cluster with the new gauge face and change the bulbs out on the unit so that, um, you know, it can kind of get to something that I like. Anyway, uh, getting on with the video, I've already started to take apart some of the bolts here. Uh, so to, to get access to this little panel piece, which is the covering for the, uh, uh, the gauge cluster, you want to take out this Phillips head screw here and there's a bolt, let me sort of get it under here. There's a eight millimeter bolt here on the left side and a eight millimeter bolt, eight millimeter bolt here on the right side. Then you're able to pull this down to get access to, uh, sorry about the light, to get access to this Phillips head screw here. Once you've done that, you can then pop this panel piece off, but you wanna make sure that when you pop it off, you take into account your, um, what is that, the, the trunk release button. You want to make sure you don't pull it out hard, otherwise you'll, you'll rip that out and, uh, you know, that's bad news for you. So, let's get this piece off and I'll, I'll turn you back on. I guess before we pull it officially off, see how I've slid it up a little bit. Uh, what you want to do is get over here to the back side of your trunk release button and push that in like that. And then you can release it from the little uh, lever down here at the bottom. It's like a little, little release switch here. You push that and the piece comes out. Now you can remove the whole unit together. And for this, all you want to do is shimmy it out until you get it out of the way. Anyway, once I get that done, I'll, I'll turn you back on. Okay, so with the cover now removed, I have access to the four bolts that are holding in the gauge cluster. Uh, one here, one below the little flap here. Let me zoom in for you. So there's a little flap here. There's going to be one to the left side of that flap right here where my finger is and one to the right side of that flap where my finger is. And uh, you'll see it uh, once you actually do it yourself. And then obviously the last one to the uh, top right of the steering wheel. You remove those bolts and the center console will be able to slide out. Oh. And these bolts, one, two, three, and four, are held in by seven millimeter uh, screws. So, Make sure you have a, a socket seven to get these out. Let's get to that step and I'll turn you back on. Okay, so with all four bolts removed, you should simply be able to uh, just jostle this out very carefully uh, on either side. Jostle it out, Not don't pull it too hard because you still have stuff connected to the back or the main harness connected to the back, which is this piece. Let me turn it around a little bit more so you can see it. So see that thing right there? This thing is what's holding and giving all the instructions to the gauge cluster about your speed and uh, you know tachometer, blah, 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 blah. So what you do for this is there is a little lever here. You pull back on that lever, pull all the way back, and it'll release, and then you can pop that out. And you're done. You have removed the gauge cluster. Congratulations. Next part, I'm gonna take it inside and start the uh, inner workings of taking this face and plastic piece off. Stay tuned. All right, so now that we're inside the house, you can see that I have my old gauge cluster that I'm gonna go back to. And I have my new gauge cluster here with you know my signature um, face or new face that I wanted to have installed, but that's besides the point. Uh, how do you get the plastic cover, protecting cover, off of the face? Well, you have one, two, 
clips, three, four clips you have to remove. And what you do is you push down on the white piece and kind of lever that off of the clip, which will release it. And you do the same thing over here. And you need to have two hands to do this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the camera down, do this and turn you back on. So once you've pressed down on all four corners, using both your hands, you'll see um, the uh, plastic cover for the gauge face and cluster removed. And you now just have access to the, cl uh, the cluster itself. So here's where it gets interesting. Um, you wanna go ahead and remove your uh, gauge needles. And I use a special tool I got off Amazon, an upholstery tool to do that. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. The tool that I'm using is this little uh, Y fork upholstery tool that I purchased off Amazon some months back. Uh, so all you wanna do, this is get up under the the piece you wanna work with or the gauge needle, and just pry up and like so it comes off. Do this one, back and forth, it pops off. Pop off, and this one. There we go. It's kinda hard to do this with one hand. But so you have those four pieces need to be removed. Uh, there's, zoom in for you. There is one, two, and three bolts that need to be removed. Let me see if the same thing is on the other one. So this is pretty cool. Uh, on the other face, there is one, two, three, four, five bolts. So I wonder if this is a different model focus, uh, or like a 2000, uh, I don't know, 2004 or 2006 or seven model focus with one, two, three bolts. Well, I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we're gonna, re we're gonna remove those bolts using a uh, a T a T ten. I'm getting that T ten right now. That's why you don't just seeing static right now. All right, so we're gonna use a T ten to get these bolts out or screws. Uh, so let me do that, and I'll turn you back on. So those bolts are removed. We need to now flip the unit over to the back, and there would and there should be two bolts removed from the back. So there'll be one bolt in here, one, and on the other side, two. We're gonna go ahead and remove those as well, and turn you back on. With panels on the face and on the back, the face should be able to slide or pull be pulled directly off, like so. And now you can set the face or the, this is the, I guess the lighting surface that the uh, gauge face sits on. You want to set that to the side. Oh, and there's a piece here that you will have to squeeze together. You want to squeeze it together and push it through to get it out. And I have like two little clips on the end. Sorry. So it has two little clips right here on the end that need to be depressed so that this can slide through. And once you do that, you can get it out. Just like so. Now this is set off to the side. What next? All right. So we're gonna look at the uh, bulbs in the back. To get to those, you want to uh, push down on these plastic clips here to remove them. And just like this, you're gonna need two hands to do it. Be careful, cause you don't wanna break it. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that and I'll turn you back on. All right, so once you remove the clips from the bottom and the top, you now have access to the panel, the, the uh, motherboard itself. And this is where you're gonna change out the bulbs. You can change the bulbs with the white backing on. 
but I want to show you more in depth on what I'm doing. So uh, to take the bulbs out, all you do is get a needle nose ply, a pair of needle nose pliers, and you want to twist uh, counterclockwise and pull out. That's that's it. These bulbs are uh, 2721. T5 and or 2721 are the bulb size for this, which is what I'm replacing mine with, with these blue LEDs over here. Uh, I bought mine off Amazon. I will link them in the description, but that's, that's how you do it. And uh, you just rinse and repeat the opposite way to install everything back into the car. So changing the bulbs, uh, all you have to do is, you know, I showed you how you twist it counterclockwise and pull out. Uh, all you do for the bulb on this end is just get your uh, needle nose pliers and just pull on the bulb and uh, you're left with this is what you want to put the new piece, the new LED or bulb that you're using back in this piece and then you tighten this clockwise back down and then you'll be finished. All right, so this is what it'll look like afterwards, after you've done all of that uh, twisting off and whatnot. Sorry for my dirty nails. I have been digging around through my uh, uh, toolbox, trying to find things. All right, so what we're gonna do now is put stick this back in. If I can get this in here. There we go. You just slide and turn counterclockwise, or clockwise, excuse me. And that's in. And we have one more up here. Got to get into the hole. And turn counterclockwise, turn clockwise. And that's in. Okay. So that is a successful uh, bulb change for the 2005 Ford Focus cluster, uh, gauge cluster. Now let's go and, oh, uh -oh, and work on the face. Let me clean up this mess I just made. All right, so now let's go work on the face. We're gonna flip the unit over so that we can change the face off of this one and that one. Stay tuned. So here's what the backside looks like with the LED lights installed. And uh, here's that piece you got to remove from the gauge face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and start the peeling process of this gauge face uh, on this little lighting piece. Stay tuned. Removing the gauge face is rather simple. Uh, all you do is just peel it off and you'll be done. Uh, and then you just put your new face onto this, uh, I, I guess this is like acrylic piece or just clear plastic piece and you'll be done. Stay tuned. So this is what the new one looks like. The new face on the old, um, plastic. And like I said, it's just now a reversal of everything that you did to put it on. And you'll be you'll be done with your uh, gauge cluster. What you want to do when uh, uh, calibrating it is that you don't want to put the plastic piece back on until you've driven the car around and calibrated everything to make sure that it fits where it needs to go when you put your your uh, needles back on your gauge needles back on because it will be different. It, it won't give you the right calculation, and you just have to manually. Um, adjust them when driving. All right, so YouTube, I'm in the car right now, and uh, this is obviously very dangerous, so uh, you know, do this at your own safety. But I manually adjusted my speed, and I'm looking at my speed up here, and they are they're matching up. So make sure you do that, and yeah. Hey YouTube, so this is my display at night. 
don't pay attention to that uh, that 183,000. I'm using the new uh, cluster. I need to switch back to the old cluster because it doesn't automatically update the mileage of your vehicle. It's stored in the cluster. But this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool, right? Shines blue at night. Anyway, stay tuned. This has been yet another video. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember to ring that notification bell. Uh, I usually post videos on a bi-weekly basis. Sometimes it could be longer, it could be shorter, it depends on what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for more, for more videos and uh, happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching this before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. If you're watching after it, after it, it uh, then happy belated Thanksgiving and early happy holidays. I'll see you in the next episode.